Hello everyone, Pedro here with Cinemild. Really excited to be here today with the Ronin 2 and one of our awesome new Ronin 2 accessories. This is of course the very essential must have upper tilt arm extension. So, um, I'll get right into it. You know, if you probably have a Ronin 2, that's why you're watching this. If you, if you don't have one yet, um, this is very important uh, video because one of the things is when you first set up your Ronin 2 like we did here, um, you're gonna have two options when it comes to mounting the camera. Uh, you're gonna have uh, a camera dovetail, like always comes with every gimbal. But what, what DJI did with the Ronin 2 is they actually included in the Ronin 2 package a sort of camera base plate is what I would call it. it of course has the rod mounts and all this kind of stuff. It's very cool that they included it, but one of the things I immediately noticed about it is how thick it is. So this makes the camera even taller. So um, I would say if you're using uh, the, this base plate plus the camera base plate, um, what quickly happens is your camera is really tall. So even on a sort of, which we would think is a short camera like an Alexa Mini or a RED, um, you're quickly gonna reach the top uh, limit of the tilt arms, which is this with this bar right here, right? So um, the obvious things is if you have like a, a, a top camera cheese plate or like a camera cage, you know, a bunch of companies make those like wooden camera and tilt -a and all this stuff, you get these camera cages, which sometimes add quite a lot of thickness or height to the camera. So if you have something like that, you're gonna have to strip it down because you're not gonna have enough room between here and here to fit the camera. So of course the Ronin 2 being very powerful and much bigger, one of the things we immediately wanna do is put bigger cameras on the Ronin 2. Much like the Alexa, the full size studio Alexa um, or larger, other larger cameras like the Panasonic uh, Varicam 35 or the LT, they're a lot taller than, than say like an Alexa Mini. Um, and in this case, I took it to an extreme because I've had a lot of people from the broadcast industry contacting me, asking me if you could balance a broadcast camera on a Ronin 2, if it would fit. And as I did here, it absolutely fits, but you need to use our upper tilt arm extensions. So um, as far as our tilt arm extensions, here we go. What we did is <clears throat> we made these available in two stages, so two parts. Um, there's a, a few reasons why we did this, but basically each stage is two inches tall. So DJI was nice enough to um, leave a mounting position here at the top of the tilt arm. And so what we did is there's a locating pin that aligns the, the tilt extension into place and uh, keeps it so that it's perfect alignment so that this, this top crossbar um, slides straight on as if it was one arm, which is really great. Um, so the thing is, the reason why we made it two stages, um, we're making the stages available individually um, because for some people, you might, you might own your own camera like a RED or, or an Alexa Mini or an F5, any sort of number of cameras out there. You might own the camera you're always using. So if you have a setup you're constantly using and all you needed was just a little bit more tilt arm, then all you need is the two inch extension. You don't need to, you don't need that extra height. Because as you can see here, I'm using both of the two stages. So I'm using both stages, each stage is two inches. This is a total of four inches of extension. So it's fine, it does have one drawback. And the drawback is that you're limited in the amount of roll that you can have with the gimbal. So I'm gonna turn this sideways here and you're gonna see hopefully. So at some point, the upper part of the tilt, tilt arm is gonna hit the pan motor. So that said, obviously this is a lot of stabilization movement, you know, for the roll axis. So I mean, if you're on a, if you're on a crane or a jib, it's not stabilizing. There's not much roll stabilization to be, to be done uh, unless you're on a hill or something. Um, if you're walking with it, you know, you might move a little bit, but there's certainly enough movement in here 
to allow the Ronin to work and stabilize your roll axis. But ultimately, you do have a restriction in the roll. So if we had just made it four inches tall, period, um, first of all, you would have this really sort of long thing, um, as you can see here, sticking out on your Ronin at all, at all times, and it would be very annoying. So um, we made it in two pieces. So if you have just the one, the, st the first stage on there, of course you have no roll issues, uh, uh, collision issues. The other nice thing is if you just leave, if you want to leave that on there all the time, it fits in the Ronin case with the, our first uh, tilt arm extension stage in place. So that's a nice thing. I would, pro I feel like I would end up using this extra uh, two inches all the time. So I'm probably going to leave these tilt, on ext tilt arm extensions um, on there constantly. And I'm very happy that they fit in the Ronin uh, Pelican case, uh, travel case with no modifications. I don't have to cut any foam or anything like that. Um, you may just have to back these out so that it fits in the slot. So um, that, anyways, that was our thinking behind making it in two stages because um, the four inches is for, for a lot of people is, is not going to be necessary. Yet for a lot of people that might be working in the uh, ENG broadcast world that are always using this sort of camera, or you're in the cinema world, but you're using a very tall camera like the Alexa, the full-bodied Alexa, um, you're going to need the four inches of tilt arm extension. So we decided to make that available in the best way possible, which is in two stages. So what you're going to find here, um, they obviously install very easily. Um, they have a locating pin, like I mentioned. It just drops right in. You can take the included DJI Ronin Allen key. This is a three millimeter uh, Allen key. And you, we have included screws that comes with your tilt arms. You just drop that in there and screw it on. There's uh, two screws uh, per side. And so here, let's do the other side also. And then I'll show it to you in action. So one of the things is the, just kind of a little bit of a pro tip here. Um, the crossbar is obviously like super important and um, because the more, the tighter you grab the camera body, the more you can turn, turn up the stiffness setting on the motors. And so essentially the more performance you can have available to you. Um, and so having the, grabbing the top of the camera is extremely important. So obviously, what I'm saying is you don't want to run without the top bar, right? So you're definitely going to want to buy the extensions so that even if you have a big camera, you're going to run with a top bar. I invite you to do a test. Once you have like a fairly large size camera on here, grab the top of the camera, hold the tilt arm and, and try to twist this. And you're going to see there's quite a bit of movement. So um, this is why you want to grab it in, in two places. Well, in the mechanical world, what we call double shear. Um, so a lot of like racing suspension components they grab from both sides for that reason. So anyways, uh, one of the tips here is make sure obviously the, uh, the tightening levers are in the open position. And one thing you're going to notice is even on the, the carbon uh, DJI Ronin arms, they sort of grab a little bit and you're going to try to move them at the same time so they don't bind. But you can kind of walk them down, right? Going up, they definitely slide a lot easier especially you know if um, if you are really good about moving them at the same time so as you can see here the, it's a perfect fit it just transitions right on right onto our extensions and um, you can then lock them in place and secure them so that's the 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 tilt arm extension and of course you know to go down like I, I, I showed earlier you kind of have to walk it a little bit because it grabs um, but you know, it's normal. It does it on the carbon arms also. Just make sure to have the levers fully open or else you're really going to fight it. Um, you know, so just to turn my attention here to, to my left, this is an ENG camera on a gimbal, which is super exciting. Um, there's a, maybe a lot of broadcast, uh, world people watching this. I think a lot of them have been waiting for a gimbal that can, has enough power to 
stabilize an ENG camera and enough obviously size to accommodate it. And as you can see here with both of our tilt arm extensions, it actually fits perfect. And more importantly, it's balanced to perfection. Thanks to the, the worm drive adjustments on the Ronin 2, you're gonna see here, there, you see wherever, there's no power to the gimbal, wherever I leave it, it stays. And even in the roll axis, oh, there we go. Wherever I leave it, it stays. So this is in perfect balance at the moment. So let's do that, see, check that out. And boom, so it just stays wherever I put it. That means it's in perfect balance. That's our upper tilt arm extensions at work. So, all right guys, I'm gonna wrap this up now and um, just make sure to follow us on Instagram. Uh, maybe join our Cinemilled users Facebook group. There's lots of good information on there. Uh, the Instagram's good because we're also pay always posting your set photos. And so maybe you can find your camera build on there that somebody else did and see how many counterweights they used and see how they set it up. So it actually could be a pretty cool resource to either give you ideas on how to set things up or you know what parts you need or whatnot. And of course, we do some flash sales and stuff on there on our Instagram stories sometimes. So, and we're always you know posting cool stuff. And we have a lot more Ronin 2 products in the works. Uh, we have a whole line of vehicle mounts, lots of other cool goodies for people using these broadcast cameras. Uh, you're definitely gonna want our Pro Dovetail and Counterweight system and uh, possibly also our pan camera weight system. So we have some new, more stuff in the works, so stay tuned and follow us on all our social media and you won't regret it. So, all right guys, I gotta go back to work. I hope you have a great shoot and maybe I'll see you on set.